TensorFlow versus PyTorch, both power deep learning, but they think very differently. Imagine you're baking cookies. PyTorch is like cooking freestyle. You can taste the dough, add more sugar, maybe toss in extra chocolate chips, all while baking. That's what we call dynamic computation. The neural network graph is built as you run it, step by step, just like you cook and adjust on the fly. Every time you do a forward pass, PyTorch builds a new graph. You can print, debug, or even change your model mid-training. That's why researchers love it. It's flexible, intuitive, and feels like pure Python. Now TensorFlow, especially the older versions, is more like following a strict recipe. You define every step before you start baking, then hit run to execute the whole process at once. That's static computation. Define the graph first, then execute it. It might sound less flexible, but it's incredibly optimized for large-scale systems. That's why TensorFlow dominates when it comes to deployment. TensorFlow Serving, TensorFlow Lite, TensorFlow Dodge.js, even TPUs. It's built for production. So here's the bottom line. If you love experimenting, debugging, and trying wild new architectures, go PyTorch. If you care about performance, scalability, and shipping models to millions, go TensorFlow. Two frameworks, two mindsets, both changing how we build AI. Follow for more machine learning concepts explained like a real engineer, no jargon, just clarity.